very, very long time. Uh, basically, I've been wanting to play this for about a week because the reason for that you'll see later on in this game, but in the fifth episode of this game you'll see that. Uh, for now, this is Doctor Who The Adventure Game. It's very similar to Walking Dead and the other Telltale games, but it's not made by, made by Telltale. It's insanely fun game, and it, every every episode of this game feels like an actual TV episode. So uh, we're gonna be playing all of them. There's four episodes here. You can see, there is a fifth one, but that was technically supposed to be part of the second game of the series, which was never completed. So they just added it to. I think here you have to start the game up differently in order to play that one. But we are going to be playing all of them. Now, uh, you can always see this is just the start menu right here, the main menu right here, so you can always see what the episodes are called. The fifth one, personally, is my favorite. It's also the longest one. Um, but yeah, we're going to be starting on episode 1, City of the Daleks, so let's just start. Um, I'm not going to continue, I'm going to start from the beginning. I have played this before. I might be, I might not remember everything what to do, but I have played this before. So, yeah. Let's just start. Yes. Yeah, pretty cool loading screens in this game too, even though my FPS seems to drop insanely on those. So, Alright, we're gonna look at the start of the startup cuts in here, which is pretty, f pretty cool. You know when the loading screen stops? You know loading screens, they love to be long nowadays. Nineteen sixty-three. Such a good year. That's uh, the year you bought that outfit, then. You know, we can go to see the Beatles play in nineteen sixty-three, but the Ice Age is only a click away on the dial. Can I meet John Lennon? What? Not Ringo. Why doesn't anybody ever want to meet Ringo? There's no such thing as a sexy drummer. You know, I'd never considered that. Then again, why would I? Nineteen sixty-three. Beatles' first two albums, Sean Connery as James Bond, The Kings, The Rolling Stones, Mary Quant, John Steed and Kathy Gale. All right now, out there, London is the coolest place, not just on Earth, but the whole galaxy. No. Impossible. Did you get this wrong? Maybe this is like... 2963 or something. There's no mistake, this is 1963. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time. On a massive scale. Doctor, look. Human heart! Get down. The last survivor of Earth will be exterminated! Exterminate! So uh, now we get to play the, 
play. How did you like that opening sequence, huh? I mean, that's just freaking amazing. There is a lot of dialogue in this game, and I won't be talking over it because that would defeat the purpose of the dialogue. Uh, the controls are a tiny bit clunky, at least in this in the first four episodes. It gets a lot better in the fifth because that game was mo mostly overall. There's a lot of stuff like facts you can look at, stuff like this. Uh, I won't be looking at all of it because then we'll be stuck here for a very long time. I'll point out some interesting stuff though. Like for instance, this is the year 1963, right? For any Doctor Who fan, you'll know that 1963 was the year the first Doctor and his granddaughter was in was in London, and that's when the whole adventure started. So let's see what Amy has to say. That woman escaped down a manhole. We need to find yeah, her. Yeah, so Amy basically will give you hints, if you, small hints to talk to, to remind you what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so we're gonna look around. We need to find a way to break through this barricade. So that's what we have to do. So you can go up here and look at this car. Don't like the way this taxi is balanced. Wrong, wrong move. It will crash into us. Taxi crashing. A barrier we have to break through. One by one, isn't? It? Yeah, the puzzles aren't. Comp that difficult in this game, it's uh, other things that will be a lot more. Stop! Look out for that Dalek! Maybe we can avoid it if we're careful. Yeah, this is also something we'll be doing a lot. Uh, as the Doctor is not a combat person, there will be a lot of sneaking around to avoid enemies. For now, let's do you want to stray out of the green triangle in front of the enemy, that's basically what uh, what um, what captures you. Later on you actually have to get caught by an enemy, but we'll get to that later, that's in a, not in this episode, it's in a later one. So basically most actions you will be doing is with the mouse button. Um, so yeah. This looks like it could smash through that barrier. Amy, can you give me a hand? Sure. One, two, three! Well, not exactly elegant, but it did the job. It's dark down there. When I said I wanted to meet the Beatles, I meant the band, not the Bucks. Or you can stay up here and meet the Daleks. But they're more heavy metal. Platform must be up ahead, but we're going to have to get through that gate to get to it. So yeah! Uh, the real thing that bugs me about that taxi thing, no Daleks heard that. There were three Daleks there and none of them heard it even though we were right next to it. Alright, so getting through this gate is the easiest thing ever. This is your inventory system by the way. And guess what we got? Oh yeah. Be careful down here. You never know what you're gonna find on the underground. Rats, dinosaurs, yetis. The woman we saw must be around here somewhere. Don't move! Ah, there you are. Hello. Calm down, we're here to help you. How can I trust you? Do we look like Daleks? Us humans have to stick together. I'm the Doctor, by the way. And I'm Amy. Sylvia. Tell me what happened. When did the Daleks get here? What do you mean? How can't you know? They overrun the Earth, the whole planet. We've sort of been away. I promise you, Sylvia, we can help you. Just tell us, please. They came out of the sky, like like they tore a hole in it. Legions of Daleks flying out of it. So many, they turned the sky dark. Thousands and thousands of them. Thousands. Exterminate! I should ask a question. So yeah, this is... You get some dialogue choices in this game. Not many, but... Uh, it's best to talk about it as much as you can. How did you survive? The Daleks defeated the army straight away, but the ordinary people fought for a while. You learn fast when you have to. You've done pretty well on your own, one woman army. And there are no other survivors? Us against the Daleks. They destroyed everything. Everyone. It's just me left. The last human being. That's what the Daleks said. Well, it was wrong about that, wasn't it? There's you two. The 
Vitalis can't do this. They've never had the power to change time like this before. Change time? <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, I'm barely hanging on to my sanity as it is. Listen to me, Sylvia. This was not supposed to have happened. 1963 was followed by 1964, and a whole lot more years after that. I have to stop whatever the Daleks have done to make this happen. Look, it isn't safe to stay here. If you want to stay alive now, you have to keep on the move. Let me check ahead. These tunnels are dangerous. What was that? I think it just got even more dangerous. Sylvia is safe. The Daleks can't see her, but we're going to have to be very careful if we're going to get to her. Oh yeah, so this is another stealth section. Um, as I said, there are a lot of these in the game. They're actually not too bad though. They're actually not too bad at all. You just have to be patient, which is pretty much true for every single stealth game in every single game I can think about. Not mostly. So yeah, the Daleks are a bit stupid actually, so, like this one, you can just walk right behind them. Oh, never mind, I can walk up, I forgot he walks up there too, so yeah. And he doesn't see Silver, which is just standing there. See? As long as you're not in the green light, you're pretty much safe from every single enemy. But up here is something else coming up, which is Insanely annoying. We should be safe. Stop! Now. The track is electrified. Then we need to reroute the power somehow and fast. Yeah, so this is something I'm not a fan of. All right. This is going to take some manual rewiring. Yeah, rewire fuse fuse box. Why wires must be positioned to connect two terminals of the same color. Wires cannot cross. Move the mouse pointer over a colored terminal and the pointer will turn to a small hand. Press and hold the left mouse button to drag out the wire. You must then connect the terminal to another of a matching color. To disconnect the wire, click on the send point and then let go. Yeah, so... This... Is... Can be kind of annoying. Basically what you have to do is take, say, the green one here. Then you have to drag it like this. This one is pretty simple, but the mouse is very unresponsive a lot of the time, so it gets a lot very annoying to do. Um, actually, I may have fucked up on that. Oh, come on. There we go. Yep, there we go. This box has been rewired. The power of the has been diverted away from the tracks, which are now safe to walk on. We'll be doing this a few times in this game, so yeah. Now it's safe. We better get a move on before that Dalek spots us. I don't think that Dalek will spot anyone, Doctor. Just saying, it's not really the smartest. Let's walk over here and climb out. Up you go, Amy. I just need to set this trap. Hurry! Sylvia! Exterminate! Run, Doctor, run! Exterminate! Ah! No! They killed her. We've got to get back to the TARDIS. The Daleks have changed the patrols. We need to try and sneak around them. So yeah, the last human on earth is killed and we're the only ones left. How was that for a fun time? Was that for an opening to this game? Every human being on earth is dead. Now we have to get back to the TARDIS. Which is actually really, really simple. Just pay attention to this guy. And yeah, you don't even have to hide from him because his range doesn't extend, and then you just go as close to this Dalek as you can. Because he doesn't notice that for some reason. And there you go. Easiest stealth section in this whole game, probably right there. 
Get into the TARDIS. Doctor. Amy? <coughs> it's alright, Amy. You're gonna be alright. I felt so weird. It's going to be all right, Amy. I promise you, if I can analyze the time and place that the Daleks altered the timeline. But I don't get it. If humanity's destroyed in 1963, how am I still here? The TARDIS protects you, but we have to act quickly. Gotcha. What is it? The source of the Daleks' time meddling, it's Scaro. The planet of the Daleks. Coordinates set, we're going back to where it all began. And we're going to save the human race. So, Planet of the Daleks. Yeah. Lovely vacation spot. Not a place I'd recommend. So this cutscene kind of looks like a picture, but yeah. It's alright. Nobody home. And they've been busy rebuilding this place too. Rebuilding? Kalan. City of the Daleks. The last time I saw it, it was in ruins and the Daleks had fled. But now Kalan is reborn. Yeah, well, I'm still not coming here for my holidays. Don't blame you. It never stops raining, so I wouldn't go outside. Even with an umbrella. The atmosphere is 30% sulfuric acid. Ooh, no wonder they're so screwed up. Come on. We have to find the source of the Daleks' time manipulation and stop them. Oh yeah, now, this is gonna be interesting. This should contain an internal sensor, it can be useful if you find a way to access it. Guess how we're gonna do that? Same way we do everything else. Okay, so this is the second annoying minigame that I really don't like. It's just those two I really don't like, the others aren't that bad. The eternal sensor is protected by Dalek's circuitry. Click on the sensor and drag it to the maze. Be careful to ensure it does not touch the electrified walls. Release the mouse button at any time to drop the sensor. Yeah, I have, I am not good at these. Especially later on when you have to deal with multiple of these and there's multiple electric things running all over the place. Right, this one is pretty simple, but later they are a lot more, a lot more difficult. Let's just go, and there we go. Success! The Dalek internal sensor has been successfully removed. It's now in your inventory. Low security doors will now open automatically. <coughs> I don't feel right. Steady. Doctor. Sorry, Amy. I'm so sorry. What is happening to me? Time is catching up with you. What? When the Daleks destroyed humanity in 1963, you became a paradox. You shouldn't exist, but you do because the TARDIS protected you. But that protection can only last for so long. That's why we have to find how the Daleks went back in time and put things right. For all of humanity, and to save you. But there'll be Daleks everywhere. It doesn't matter. I'll find a way. But first, I have to slow down what's happening to you. The Daleks of temporal technology, I can use that. We need to build a chronon blocker from Dalek spare parts. That will counter the effect of the paradox. We have to find a Dalekanium coil and a Contron crystal. Uh, like you're talking English? A uh, what, what, what? Don't worry. You rest here and I'll find them and bring them back. Production facility must be close by. It's bound to have some spare Dalek canium coils and Contron crystals. Yep. Alright, so this is the planet of the Daleks. You can have a look out here. You can read that if you want. It's just some facts about acid rain though. Alright. That wall could offer some cover. Not one wall I would suggest using. You need to be patient to find a gap in the patrols. There's actually not that many patrols here. Just uh, pay attention to that Dalek over there. You see, it's walk when he walks that way. We just walk this way. 
Okay, don't have to worry about the Daleks hanging on the conveyor belts. And then we'll just walk in here. Crisis of Earth. Yep, the uh, stealth sections in this game, this game is actually probably the easiest thing. Oh, there's some that are kind of annoying, but what am I doing? 